The following morning, we were warned there was a mob on the streets of Kiev. And there was. Thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. So, to get a bit of peace and quiet, we were told to report to the country's only racetrack. For what, chillingly, was called the final challenge. Your cars will each be given exactly 23 litres of fuel, which, because they're so economical, should easily be enough for them to cover the 100 or so miles to your destination, a town near the border with Belarus. Hang on, 23 litres? To do 100 miles? It's not really a challenge, it's That's easy. Your challenge is to run out before you get there. This is something you'll want to do, as the town in question is called... Chernobyl. Can we actually... We can't go there, can we? Chernobyl was the scene of the world's worst nuclear accident. When reactor number four exploded in 1986, it released a radioactive cloud so devastating that the entire area will remain uninhabitable for 20,000 years. And unless we could make our cars do less than 20 miles to the gallon, this is where we'd end up. Ford claim mine does 65 mpg. All the way here, this has done 60 miles to the gallon, yes? Give or yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. How do you make these cars do 20 miles to the gallon? I can't imagine getting it under 30. After the producers had put precisely 23 litres of fuel in each tank, we did some preparations of our own. Right. Clever, this. What I'm going to do is let about 30% of the pressure out of the tyres. Point is, it increases rolling resistance, which means I use more fuel. That is one heavy up. What are you doing? I'm sealing all the gaps so that radioactive dust can't get in. What you've done there, Hammond, is made it more aerodynamic. I have, haven't I? You have. Goodbye. To get through this much petrol in less than 100 miles, we would have to drive like maniacs. Three, two, one. Come on, build up the revs. Second gear, right to the limiter. Oh, that's wasteful. James and I decided to go for a low gear policy of maximum revs. Hammond, on the other hand... If I keep doing this all the way there, I'll go further. I mean, this will be twice the distance. This is the answer. Mock to lock. Oh. Uh. OK, that's where, that's where I'm going to have to be careful when there's traffic coming the other way. I want all... Oh, I've just realised. I'm driving without my lights on. I'm driving with the eco engine system, heated rear window. I want that on. Heated seats, yes. That's better. Probably people think this is a bit odd, but if they knew why I was doing it, they would understand. I can't believe they're making us do this because it's not like the radioactivity has gone. It hasn't. It has a half-life, the material that's left, of 245,000 years. And James May, obviously, can explain what a half-life is. In fact, he probably is doing it. The half-life is actually constant. A piece of uranium will have a half-life, and when that half-life is passed, the remaining bit still has the same half-life. I think the word was coined by Marie Curie. The early 20th century was the time when radioactivity was identified, discovered, codified. After 25 miles of red line motoring, the news from the up still wasn't good. 
I've managed to average 23 miles to the gallon. I've got to get that down. How do I get that down? Right, the drag is now dramatically worsened. Meanwhile... I am feeling a bit sick now, if I'm honest. Oh, is that a police car? Oh, dear. No. There's the horrible evidence. At a quarter distance, 25.5 miles, I should have lost one of those four bars that I started with. But it's not happening. Come on, petrol, sod off. OK, we've been pulled by the police. They were wondering why I was zigzagging. They're talking to the camera car in front. Meanwhile, I'm sitting here at max RPM to try and use some fuel while I'm stationary. Whilst Hammond was deafening the police, I pulled over to disable my engine management system. How about that look? Engine warning light. Yes, that's what we want. So what the engine has to do now is assume a sort of worst-case scenario because it doesn't know anything about itself. So it'll assume it's very cold, the fuel quality is bad, so it must be less efficient. Thirty miles from Chernobyl, all our cars were still running, and we were trying every trick in the book to make them conk out. Look at that for drag now! Brake and accelerate. Brake, accelerate. Still got three bars, come on. There it is, 17.8 mpg. Oh, my fuel lights come on. Oh, yeah. I'm doing 21 miles to the gallon. I'm not doing well enough. Everything's on empty. Needle on empty. Come on, run out, run out. It's one degree out there. Nipples are sticking out badly now. Ah, I believe this is Richard Hammond. This thing should not be moving. I'm going, I'm going, I am going! <laughs> Don't tell me oh. you've run out. Oh, yes, yes! <laughs> oh, bliss! It's gone! I don't believe you. It's... it... <laughs> I don't believe you. Sit, Rep. Richard Hammond is a... Go on. Go and meet your fate.